Hi, my name is Ava Mueller, and I'm the Vice President of the Humane Interface Design Enterprise, also known as HIDE. HIDE is a student-run enterprise focused on the design, development, and evaluation of real-world software solutions. This semester, we have 10 teams and over 60 students. For the remainder of the presentation, we will focus on the Chem Store, TCEV, CCLCQ, and Human Factors teams. Hi, I'm Zane Smalley, and I lead team members Ben Dries, Brendan Furman, Samuel Kalkman, Josh Overbeek, Patrick Philbin, and Michael Zitta in working on the Chem Store application, sponsored by Michigan Tech's University Chemical Stores. The Chem Store application is a web app to manage the inventory of chemicals in labs across Michigan Tech's campus. The application allows users to manage the current inventory of chemicals and tracks changes made through the application. This app is intended as a replacement for some software that the chemical stores already use that is slightly antiquated and lacks some features. The main page of the application is the container page. This page displays information about the containers in the current inventory and the page allows users to download the CFD data sheet for the chemical. The page allows users to filter results on several parameters, including chemical name and location. The page also displays a quick summary of the inventory, showing the number of containers, total amount, and the number of locations displayed at a glance. For administrators, the next main page of the application is the log page. This page displays a record of all changes made on the site, showing when the change occurred, who made the change, and what was changed. This page also allows users to filter and sort the results. The last pages of the application are the administrative pages. Through these pages, admins can manage the different chemicals that are in containers, assign hazard icons to those chemicals, manage user accounts and permissions, and manage the list of locations used in the app. Our future goals for the project are to add a quick data import and export functionality, allowing data to be transferred to and from Excel files to make bulk inventory changes easier. We also plan to add some quality of life features, like adding autocompletes to more fields and grouping identical containers to save space on the container page. Lastly, we plan to add role-based inventory scopes so that admins can see the entire inventory of chemicals across campus, but people working in labs can only see the chemicals in their lab. Hello, I'm Brandon St. Louis, one of the team leads in the Traverse City Electric Vehicle Project. I also have a, another team lead with me, uh, Leela Root as well as my team members, Caden Knitz, Kevin Bach, and uh, Gabe Smith. So going into the project, it is a basic website for Traverse City to advertise its new electric vehicle initiative. Uh, we got a link to an interactive map here on the homepage. We got some F common FAQs here, as well as a cost savings calculator. And we have an embed of the Traverse City Twitter feed. And as we move forward, we go to the interactive map. There's currently nothing here because the HTML code that was embedded isn't available in the free version of WordPress. So we're working on the paid subscription to be able to display the actual map, but it's plug share. Uh, we also have our general information here, uh, but it's just really basic general information about EVs for someone who wants to read up on it. As for resources, uh, we have the tax information, uh, talking about all the tax incentives in Michigan, where the laws are tending towards, and then a cost savings calculator. And then here's the contact page to contact Traverse City if you had any questions regarding the site. So I think this semester for us, what we learned from working on this project is the sponsor always comes first. Uh, the sponsor, uh, wanted us to change our project from Django to WordPress. And we did it without hesitation because we wanted a finished product and we wanted our sponsor to be happy. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Collage. I'm the team lead for the CCLCQ. The members include Eden Sanborn, Connor Cater, Vincent Yang, Jacob Wilkins, and Izzy House. And our sponsor is Dr. Leo Uriel. And we are creating a Canvas plugin for the Computer Science Learning Center. We are making the question answer answer system easier to use for computer science stu students, coaches, and course instructors by implementing it as a queue. Here is what the student view will look like, where a student will be able to log into the CSCLC site, and then their courses will be pulled from Canvas directly. 
So they'll click on whatever course they need help with, whether they're in person or remote, and then whatever question they have. And then they post the question and it'll get placed into the queue for coaches or instructors to help them. Here's what the coach page will look like when it is fully implemented with all the questions being posed. Here's the dummy data that I created just to test how the table will look. But when a student asks a question, it will be placed into this queue. This is a live interacting queue where the first question posed will be answered first. It will appear at the top. And any question that comes after will be beneath that. So coaches and instructors can prioritize the first question they see. And whether it's in person or remote, they will help um, based on that modality. The future aim of the CCLC is to create a question forum page, which will look similar to Stack Overflow. Um, students will be able to see all the previously answered questions for that course um, relating to what they were asking. So if they have a similar question, rather than asking again, they can just see the previous answer, the help that was given by a coach or an instructor, and they'll see it on this page. And yeah, that's the uh, broad view of uh, what CCLC looks like. Hi, we are the Human Factors sub-team of the Hyde Enterprise. What is Human Factors? It essentially connects people to technology to create user efficiency and or better design for safety before lives are at stake. It has roughly been a new major about two years ago with the undergrad program here at Tech. Within Hyde, we work with UX and UI design, which UX is user experience, and that would be an example of where people put their hands on a keyboard or where their eyes dilate when they're doing a certain task. And then there's UI, which is color theory, design, patterns, and more just how the interface looks. And then once you combine those two, that's where we do a lot of task analysis on people. And that's where your psychology comes in. And then we create a step-by-step -step process. This year, we've worked with a lot of projects within Hyde and with, uh, in other enterprises. Within Hyde, we work like as I previously mentioned with UX and UI. So we work a lot with Figma. That previous picture showed what one of the sub teams wanted to convey. So then we created these on Figma. And then there, we also worked with CS scheduling, kind of the same concept. This was made in Figma. And we've learned a lot this year. This is the first time that there's been all human factors majors within our sub team. So it was really cool all having the same baseline, understanding what each other is talking about and feeding off of each other's ideas. There was some challenges. Since it's roughly new here at Tech, not a lot of people understood what we could do for their projects and what who we are as a team. So we kind of helped this problem by shadowing projects and seeing what their scope and parameter is, what they do step by step. And then we introduce what we can help fix within their project. And since we're within Hyde, we mostly did a lot of website evaluations just because that sticks with user interface. One really cool opportunity while working with other enterprises, um, we met this lady named Dr. Cindy Miller, and she used to work for the Harley Davidson Human Factors team. And we got the opportunity to ask our own questions and learn a lot from her. And then lastly, as I previously mentioned, we made a lot of mock-ups on Figma and that really executed well so we could do more projects in the future. And that's a sub-team of human factors. If you have any questions about Hyde or want to learn more, feel free to visit our website or send us an email. Thank you.